okay finally i have completed all the dp series videos now i will try to do the code let's start one hour later uh, i covered all the videos but still i am not able to do the code but i know uh, i have did it while checking the video but i am not able to do it what to do again i have to check the video and i have to find the solution i know the approach was still <sighs> Hi guys so in the previous frame i showed you one of the big uh, problem that people uh, are facing nowadays and in my top mate session i am getting a lot of message and lot of in the discussion people are saying they are facing the same issue so i thought why not make a video so if you are facing the same issue then this video is specifically for you don't just skip stay tuned with me i will tell you the solution as you have already taken the uh, Uh, you have already seen the thumbnail where i have said that i will tell how you should take the uh, notes so we know that whenever we are preparing something maybe we understood the process but we need to take notes so that after one month or after maybe 2 to 3 months when we are coming back to the same problem we need some of the reference it's not that whatever we are learning will stay in our mind and whenever we are if we want to do we can do it obviously the thing or the process or the approach we got it but the reference we always need to check first for example when we were kid even though we are we were going to school and we were learning but before exam we need to revise so that everything is freshen up in our mind the same thing is happening or same thing will happen with your coding so suppose you are taking a uh, checking on one video or you are learning from something you got the approach and you have done some code uh, then after some days when you thought like let's revise and then you may face that uh, at some point you are stuck and you are not able to do the same code that you have already done in past so obviously like if that time you may feel like disappointed oh even though i learned i am not able to do how will i uh, crack companies or you may feel that oh no again i have to check the video and this things so you may face uh, this kind of situation so the one easy solution for this is taking notes so if you feel that you have one note and whenever you think to revise and there is one handy note in uh, with you for which you can take the reference it will be best and this is the solution for this problem so my name is arnabhi mitra i'm working in a fan company as a sde and this video is how to efficiently take notes and i will tell you the three most uh, common ways to take notes obviously three modes are, are quite different and you can choose any of them but i will tell you the best way and all the specific thing you need to uh, maintain so that you won't face any problem even before going to interview or whenever your interview is you can check your notes quickly so that everything will help you so let's start okay so the first method that is taking note in copy now it has obviously some pros and cons now i will suggest this method for the students uh, who are currently in college so that still you are going to college and you are taking notes in copy so you have the habit of writing in pen and paper like us we are completely out of pen and paper and we just spend our most of the time uh, in, uh, in computer so like uh, like finding pen and paper who are freshers or working in a uh, company it may be difficult for them like maintaining a fresh copy but for student i will highly recommend you can follow this method like 
a pen and paper where you can write the topping name that uh, whatever code you are doing or whatever uh, algorithm you are learning write in your own way so that when you will come to revise you will understand because it's uh, you have written in your own way you can take some example dry run it you can make some diagram drawing each and everything like uh, doing a diagram in computer or laptop it may be difficult but in your copy you can write in your own way in your own language in your uh, diagrammically way so everything you can manage and uh, taking notes in copy will help whenever you think that i need to revise you can just come and check your copy it's surely going to help and even you can write the code or the pseudo code and later you can check the the code solution you have submitted so this is one way you can take the note or this is the first way i say now this is the pros like you can write each and everything in your way in your language but obviously it has a drawback so obviously when you are writing in copy uh, you need to spend some time while searching like wh what where where i have written in which page and suppose you you have indexed your copy and you have some chosen 10 questions of dp then you learn another question but in your page there is uh, no space and after dp you have started with graphs then you need to again go to uh, some other page and write this is a topic of dp so it may get haphazard way so for that i am coming with my second approach uh, i know that taking notes in copy may be time consuming because you, uh, you will spend some time in learning then you will do the code and then you will spend some time on uh, writing the code in your way so the next way i will uh, tell that may be uh, less time consuming and for my opinion this is going to be the best method so that is taking note in an excel sheet so from excel sheet we know that we can do a lot of thing from excel and uh, you can have some columns like first column will be the topic name then the code link from where there you can go to the code and check your submitted solution the third uh, may be the video link from where you have learned the video link or maybe some blog or something and the final column where you can write your own uh, notes in your own word so yeah like here you don't have that much uh, uh, easy way to write your own way the way you can write in your copy like you can't draw a diagram and all you can obviously do but I am saying this because uh, it will be some time efficient way so you can follow this approach and uh, with uh, excel you can mark you can color like the important topics whatever you feel that you need to revise this question again and again you can mark them and like handling and excel be, uh, will be better than a copy obviously you can uh, open it from your phone or laptop even if you are somewhere else and you feel that you need some quick revision you are going for some interview and you think that you need some quick revision you can have that uh, excel sheet in your hand and you can quickly open and check all these things so according to me this is the best way and i would suggest everyone to follow one excel sheet so whatever wherever you are learning just keep it and track it down there even though you are not able to write your notes in your own way just uh, mention that you have solved the question and later on whenever you will get time you can write uh, note in your way and uh, other than that even though you feel that maintaining an excel sheet is going uh, tough or maybe uh, every day you cannot maintain an excel sheet so i am going with my next method it's not a proper method but uh, you can integrate uh, this to method and have a final note so you know whenever uh, we are writing some code and we are suppose we are uh, introducing one for loop or we are taking one variable so we know that in clean code method we will obviously rename our variable in our way but suppose we are doing so it's very much important we write and comment to add why we are doing why we are taking this variable why we are running a for loop what is the time complexity going there each and everything so instead of writing a separate note everything we can write in 
R code inside comment. So if you feel that you can only give one hour per day and you can't invest your time in taking separate notes and all, no worry. You just write the code, whatever you have understood, and then add the comment for uh, uh, the important lines. So that even if when you are coming back to check your solution, you won't face an issue or you won't feel that. Uh, why I did this? Why I write this? Why I take this variable? This thing you won't feel. And obviously, whatever editor you are using, for example, you, if you are using lead code, you can add those uh, question. Or you can bookmark those question. Even in lead code, you can make your separate list. Like for dynamic programming, you can mark make a list, and there you can keep on adding. So even though if you feel that you are not able to taking com take notes and uh, then you can follow this method just write comments and add them into the list so that uh, when you will open your own editor you can find whatever you have solved and uh, what approach you were doing so these are the my three methods and obviously the second method the excel sheet method is really going to help but still i mention this three method because uh, it may depend on code to code for example for one particular code or maybe for the graph algorithms particularly you may feel that if i take note in copy it's going to help me so that i can have a proper visualization i can have my own diagram i can uh, dry run something and i can have each and everything in my copy then do take the note in your copy and keep some reference in your excel sheet Similarly, if you feel for the huge algorithms, like for a small algorithm, it's fine. But for the huge algorithms, you are taking step by step and you may feel that when I will come and check the solution, I may uh, uh, think why I am doing this, why, why like I have taken this variable. Keep on adding comments so that you can track and make sure you are uh, maintaining one excel sheet from there you can track each and everything whatever you have solved in uh, past month whatever you feel that these are difficult and you need to revise again and again what you feel that these are only easy question uh, no need to take note each and everything you can keep track in an excel sheet so i will highly recommend you that if you are preparing uh, with your dsa and whatever level you are in just from now start taking notes so that uh, when interview will come and you uh, you need to revise for even the online assessment you are preparing you won't face any issue any trouble you will simply go to the excel sheet and your revision will be complete and you won't face the issue that i have shown that you will forget you will forget that code even though you are forgetting you, you can go and check your previously submitted solution and you can check your notes so this is my total video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel also let me know in the comment section your feedback if it's really helping you and if you start follow this method from now words and now if you want to connect with me i have a telegram group i have given my linkedin id also my top mail account where you can book a one is to one call and you can also book a mock interview i'm taking mock interview uh, everything is in the description do follow and uh, also if you like this video i hope you will like my other videos i have uh, said like what you should take dsa or dev and how you should start with dsa each and everything so have a look thank you